My roommate was randomly assigned to me because of a survey. Uh, I was assigned a roommate. So I did the typical housing survey where they ask you if you're a neat person or a messy person um, or like a night owl or an early bird. Uh, at Luther we had a, a survey that we had to fill out. A survey. A survey. A survey. I am very grateful that I was very honest on that survey, um, even when I didn't think that my honest answers were very cool, because <laughs> uh, it ended up getting me a roommate that had really comparable, a really comparable living style. And it was actually someone who came from the same region as me, even though we were only about two hours away from school with our families. Um, I was excited. I had never lived with anyone else before, but I was always really jealous of my brothers who shared a room growing up. I thought it was fun. <laughs> so I was excited too, um, and I think I kind of associated the whole roommate dorm thing with college, so I was like really excited about the idea. Um, but I didn't really know what to expect, so there was like a little, little a few nerves too because I never shared a room with anyone before. And we both did not like our living arrangement and ended up actually switching roommates in the middle of the year. And I ended up with one of my best friends to this day um, halfway through. My roommate and I were best friends for the first like two months of college. Uh, and it was great and she knew a lot of people and was a little bit more social than I am. Uh, so that was kind of cool because she could introduce me to like her friends and to the people that she knew. Um, and that's kind of how I ended up making some of my friends in college. I think when I first moved in, I was really, really nervous because it was the first time that I lived with somebody else, just in general, that wasn't a part of my family. Um, but like, I mean, seriously, like the next day, I was like, this is freaking awesome. This guy's so cool. And like, he knew a bunch of people like on campus already because he was from uh, Decorah, from where Luther was. And so like, I was able to like hang out with him. He was kind of like my anchor whenever we went out. It was like, I know that like, I can go to Kyle all the time. And like, he's gonna be a great place to be um, because he knew everybody, but like, he made me feel like really comfortable and like really welcome there. The best part was just having a friend right away. Um, someone really familiar on campus, you know, first couple weeks of school, someone to debrief everything that was happening. Um, you know, you were both going to class for the first time, you are both going to the dining hall for the first time, there was someone there to kind of like, um, can just talk through all of that with. For me, the hardest part of like living with people had nothing to do with living with people, it was being so far away from my family. Um, but it was nice because both of my roommates were also from farther away and so I think that was something that kind of um, connected us because we were both from, or all three of us were from out of state. Um, I would say maybe at the beginning like sleep schedules were a little different because I had one roommate who would stay out a lot later than I would and I'd be in bed at like 10 o'clock <laughs> and um, they would come in a lot later but I'm a pretty sound sleeper so that wasn't too big of an issue. I had two roommates so I was in a triple in a room that was kind of small for three people um, and I love them both dearly now. Um, it wasn't super easy just because of space and new people. We did have a lot of really good times and sometimes it was really hard. Um, like I said, with the space and just not agreeing on everything. So a lot of the time when things weren't great, I remember telling myself um, that it's just temporary and that I gotta kind of pick my battles. <laughs> um, and I feel like I just learned a lot about myself and others and just kind of, sometimes it's really hard to live with your friends. Um, and so I think I learned a lot, but generally it was really fun and I'm still really close with my freshman roommates today. I think that the hardest part was when each of us realized that we couldn't study in the room successfully at different times. I realized much later than he did, um, and so he had figured out that he wanted to keep the, the dorm room to just kind of the social aspect, um, while I wanted to keep it more studious in a sense. I wish I had known um, that it's okay for things to be difficult sometimes and not to agree on everything. I think the hardest thing was not always communicating well with my roommates. Um, I think like there's that adjustment period when you've always like had your own space growing up and then you have to suddenly conform to like sharing space with other people. Um, we wouldn't always like 
like communicate about sharing common space or like our schedules, like if one of us had to get up early um, and like setting alarms and things like that. And I know I like um, sometimes some things got on people's nerves, but we eventually like became much more comfortable with each other and um, sort of like making it clear what was okay and what wasn't and like asking um, questions about things. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Like, don't let it fester. And I think it's so Minnesotan of me to say like, oh, I'm just gonna be so passive aggressive about it. She must know what I'm thinking. And clearly she didn't and I'm sure she felt the same. So um, had we had that conversation up front, maybe we would have made it through the whole year together. It's really intimidating at first, but um, if anything, it's a good chance to figure out what your rooming preferences are and who you are as a communicator and who you are as a roommate. Um, because I think those are things that I really needed to figure out about myself. Um, I think there's a lot of ideas floating around there about having to be best, best friends with your roommate. Um, and so it can feel like there's a lot of pressure to do that. Uh, and I wouldn't say I was like absolutely best, best friends with my roommate and that we did everything together, both like hanging out in the room at all times or going um, everywhere on campus together, eating meals together. Uh, instead, our roommate relationship really just centered around the room and it almost felt more familial in that like we lived our separate lives and like we had our separate friends and took our separate classes and then at the end of every single day we would come home and I always knew that she was going to be there every night and we were going to debrief what we had done that day um, and it was this really like comforting, warm, lovely relationship that was very different than the rest of my friendships and that I think actually served me better than if I had like lived the best best friend.